you are welcome to my channel today we are going to sew this very short sneaker for a client the length is, uh, is, is between 15 to 17 that is what we are going to sew and so um i folded my fabric into two i'm going to cut the front part of it and i folded the fabric using the measurement of the tie the tie is 24 and so 24 divided by 2 is going to be 12 but what I have here is 14 with some 2 inches, 14 with some 0 0.2 inches here. I've also marked 2 inches other ones here. So from there, I have 12 inches exactly. And so I have my 12 inches. And these 2 inches will serve for extra allowance, especially for the waist area. So the length, what I have here is 15. It includes sewing other ones. I'll add a band of I will add a band of two inches to it. So at the end of the day, it will amount to sixteen. Okay. So we are going to get our crotch. In order to get a crotch, we are going to divide the hip into four, and the hip divided by four is going to be the hip is forty three divided by four is going to be ten point seven five. Then I will add the ten point seven five. I'm going to run it to eleven. Then I'll add extra one to eight to make it twelve. Well, this is a big tie waist, so you can add either one, one and a half, at most two inches to eight. So twelve. So I will place my two inches here because we are taking two inches from it and mark my twelve. So it's going to be here. But I'm going to add extra half to it for sewing allowance at the top. Okay. And so I'm going to mark twelve and a half. All through because half because when I'm joining the band to it, the band will take half inch here. The band will take half inch here. Okay, so I'm marking 12 and a half. Okay, so on this very line, I'm going to place my hip measurement that is 43 divided by 4, that is 10.75. And so I'm going to place 10.75 here. And I'm going to place the same thing also here. At the waistline, the same thing at the waistline. And I'm going to join the point. Okay. Okay. Then I am going to go up by two and a half inches to get my crotch line. I will place this here, my curve here, and draw my crotch. Okay, so this is my crotch. The waist is 30 divided by 4 is going to be 7.5. So I have 7.5 here plus 1 inch for that's and then I'm going to give um, sewing allowance and that is going to be 1, 2. I'm going to make it 3 so that I have 1 and a half here, 1 and a half here as a sewing allowance. Okay. And then when it comes to this side, when I come to this side, I'm going to add just half an inch to the hip line. You can decide not to add, it will not cost anything. I'm just adding half an inch to the hip. And then what I have here is exactly what I'm going to leave it here. This is the length. So this one, there's no need to curve anything. It's just the same. And so I'll just do a little bit of curve. I'm going to come in here by um, um, by half inch, oh, half inch, and then curve it from this crotch line and curve it just to give it a bit of shape. And I'm going to add half inch to this one also. 
most of the allowance will be on the back part so i'm going to join the point with my curve here then i'll use the straight ruler to join this okay so i'm going to cut it out okay so this is it for the front part i'm going to take one to cut the back part also so i'll take this one okay so this is the front i'll fold the fabric for the back and folding the fabric i added extra three inches to it so instead of 14 i added i made it 17 plus three so on it i'll come down for the back area I'm going to make it one and a half here, so one and a half here, one and a half or two inches here, and so I'm going to place it here this way. So I'm going to add three inches to this, so I'll make it two and a half. Then here I'm going to add two and a half, two inches, add it down here two inches. Okay, so I'll just use this to mark it. Join the point. So I will join the point here this way. Okay, so this is it. Then when you come to the crotch area here, I'm going to add one and a half inch. My zip will go to the back. So this one is going to serve for zip allowance. So I'll come here the same. Okay. And I'm going to mark another one and a half also here. Okay. Then I'm going to join to it. Okay. Then this is going to be straight. Okay. Then I'm going to join this line here to the waistline here by slanting it. Okay, so this is it. And so I'm going to cut it. So this is it. We are going to get our band. What I have here is um, 11.5, which is 23, and then this one to 13.5, which is 27. So I need 27 for the back, and then 23 for the front. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. Okay, guys. So I'm going to use this for the pockets. I have two here. It is 14 by 12. This is 12. Let's see, 12 and a half. And then I have folded it into two. So when I open up, it's 14. 14. And that is okay. So two, I have two. And I'm going to use this for the band. The band, the length is 5.5. I'll fold it into two and fold half on each side. So at the end of the day, I'll arrive at two inches. And then the length after I'm going to divide for the for all the four. So this is the length of 50 inches. Okay. So I'm going to place my pocket measurement. I'll measure three inches here at the waistline. Three inches. Three inches and then from waist down I'm going to measure seven inches so seven inches here I'm going to use the curve to curve it so this is it and I'm going to cut it out and so you're when you're cutting it make sure 
this is the right side right side is facing each other and so this one is wrong side when i turn here this is wrong side let me mark mm -hmm. and so right side facing right side before you place the pocket measurement on it okay okay so this is it this is the right side of this pocket okay then i'm going to pick one of these i'm going to do it one one i'm not going to do it together so right side will face right side so this one is going to face it this way let's measure here and see two and a half i took three inches from it so at the end of the day we need to get three inches so i'll position it well okay so this is three okay So this is it so i'll put this aside and then cut the other one also okay so i've done for both so this is it each of the pockets right side is facing the right side of the knee okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut lining for the knee not the pocket i'm going to cut lining for the knee both front and back okay so i have lining for both front and back i'm going to attach the lining this is the right side this is the wrong side so I'll just face it here at the right side and sew on half inch and then turn it, give it a top stitch and turn it this way and make sure that I get it equal and iron very neatly. I'll do the same for both front and back. Then I also did lining for the pockets, yes. I want it to be, I want the dress to be a bit heavy so that when a person wears it, it will look a bit classy on her. So, but then we drink a class. So I added um, lining also to this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just attach it this way. This is the wrong side. So just on the wrong side, I'm going to run. A stitch on it all over just to get it in place okay guys so I'm done attaching lining to everything and the band to I folded it added stick to it and folded up on each side okay so what I did was I measured I measured one and a half inch here and ran a straight stitches on it did the same thing for all so what i'm going to do is to add my dart to it but the dart i'm not going to do it inside i'm going to do it outside the pocket because i am not sewing i'm just i'm just going to pleat that that area that is four inches the dart is four so i'm going to measure five because of the one inch is a sewing allowance okay so i'll measure five here this is five and then I'm going to five inches okay so at the five area I'm going to mark half inch on both sides half here half there so this is it and then I'm going to hold it this way and then place it on it so I'm going to I'm going to place this on it this way so I will iron it either it goes this way or it comes um, this way so I'm going to change it for it to come this way out okay so this is it it's going to be like I'll do the same thing for this part also okay so we'll go to the back also the back also the that's okay so i'm going to measure that we added one and a half to eight when we're cutting so one and a half plus one inch that is going to one inch is a sewing allowance and that is going to give us two and a half two and a half i hope so 
So I'm going to measure my four inches here. Before I join the band to this, I'm going to add the pockets. And so I'll just pick, you don't just pick any one. You pick the one that goes with it. So this is, you see, right side meeting the right side. And then I'll just place on it this way. And I'm going to sew all this. Okay, guys, so here is it. I'm done knitting the whole thing. I've attached the band to it. So what I'm going to do now is to... Um, place my measurement on it and join front and back together. Okay. I'm going to place on the front part. I'm going to place it here. So what we'll do is when we pick, when we take the measurement, the waist is 30. So 30 divided by 4 and that is going to be 7.5. We have 1, 2, 2 inches, so it means you're going to leave 1 inch on each side. 1 inch here, this is my 1 inch. Then I'll leave another inch also here. Okay. Then when I come to this part, this is the crotch area. The tie, or yes, the tie. The tie is 24. 24 so 24 divided by 2 and that's going to be 12 so you can see we have 12 here and just a half an inch half an inch here but i'll still mark half inch on both each side because the more the back will take care of the rest of it so i'll mark half an inch here I'm going to mark off an inch here also. I'm going to sew to with a pocket. I'm going to sew with a pocket this way. Mm -hmm. So I'll bring the same thing. This here too, I'm going to mark off an inch. That is the down here too. I'm going to mark off an inch. Join it down so the hip area here. Okay, so I'm done with this now. This place I'm going to come down, use my hand to do it, just the crotch area so. I just come down and come and meet the half an inch I have here. So I'm going to mark half an inch also here. So I'm going to draw this to meet the half an inch. Okay. Just pick one of the back that matches with it. So this is it, the same hip line going the same way. And then I'm going to attach it this way. So this is it. I'll sew this. Then when I come here, so you see the SS here, yes. That's going to take care of the rest of the, so I'll just bring it, i just make it equal this way. And I'm going to sew here. So I will sew here. I am not going to sew this because this is for front. This is back. So I'll join. I'll join this side and this side. Okay. So I'll place the same measurement on this one also. Okay, guys. So this is it. Before I join this, I'm going to sew the pocket side. Before I will sew on top and join everything together. So I'll do that and come and teach you how you are going to attach this to 
to this it's very simple i've turned one outside and this one is inside so what you do is the one i've turned outside i'm going to put it in so this is front this is front this is back this is back so it will meet each other okay so i'll just put this one in this way see when i was knitting i mistakenly did some excess cutting here instead of um, focusing on the edges so it's, it's it's supposed to be a little bit maybe something like this so it will not affect anything anyway so this is it so we are going to sew through the mark line you see the mark line the half inch okay Okay, so I'm going to sew this and then come to the back. Get to the back. Make sure everything is equal this way. And the back, we are going to measure 2 inches because if you could remember, apart from the 1 inch for the allowance, we also added extra inch to it. So I'm going to mark 2 inches here. So 2 will be here okay and then this place is going to be on a half inch so i'm just going to mark half inch here and then i'm going to join from the half inch to the two inch here and so this is it so this is it so I will sew up to somewhere here because I'm going to attach the zip to it. The zip is going to be at the back. So I want like 9 inches. 9 inches. But I'm going to sew up to this 10 inches point here. Here. So change the, the direction. Then I will secure here. After securing here. I'm going to hold this with pins and then open up, iron it flat this way, iron it flat, iron the other side also flat and then attach my zip to it. So I'll do that and come and show it to you. Okay guys, so this is it. We are done with our trousers. So this is the pleated side, the front, our pockets and this is the back. Of it you see so this is it okay guys so this is it our knicker on our mannequin isn't it looking beautiful yeah. check the description box for how to sew this top there's a link there to this top this beautiful top so check it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share the video bye bye